day 48. It's a 12 day, which means it's a day of like governance, which reduces down to a three day, which is like that perfect triune setup. So what we're going to talk about today is making sure that you have the perfect setup for manifesting and continuing to manifesting. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer. I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. So that means that I cannot write you a prescription, but I can recommend a good crystal. And guess what? That's exactly what we are going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how to make sure that you maintain some great energy in regard to your manifestation journey. Okay. So I want to specifically discuss crystals today, not because I worship them, not because I, you know, somehow think they're God or something crazy like that. No, no, no. Because I firmly believe that keeping crystals around is great for maintaining, raising and maintaining your um, atmosphere. And why is that? Because as we've been discussing, as you well know, everything is energy. And because everything is energy, that means these crystals are energy as well. So let me give you some crystals that I like to keep around that maintain good energy and also they reduce down um, negative energy, okay? So first of all, one of the most common crystals one can use to maintain fantastic energy is the amethyst. You can find an amethyst pretty much just about everywhere. You can even order the amethyst online, okay? It's okay to do that, but as a matter of fact. So amethysts are really great for third eye health, for crown chakra health, they just have this just amazing, you know, ah, kind of feeling to them, right? So they're great for that. Um, also, little known fact, they can also help raise the frequency in your heart chakra just because of that kind of loving, kind, uplifting energy. And plus, they're really nice to look at. They're purple. So they're beautiful. So an amethyst is probably the number one that I would say, because it's easy to come by, right? Um, very close behind that would be the citrine or the amber. The citrine or the amber. That um, crystal, that stone is very balanced. So it can, it can take away negative energy, kind of suck that in, and it can release positive energy and help really uplift you. Um, definitely for abundance, that's going to help a lot. So from when you're manifesting money, that's going to help a ton. So keep some citrine close. That's it's, it's great. It's awesome. Uh, what else is another? Oh, hematite. H-E-M, hema, H-E-M-I-T-I-T. -I -I um, hematite. Now that's a heavy one. Okay. A lot of people will say that's like, oh, it's going to suck up negative energy. But hematite is great for manifestation, for manifesting material things. Okay. Um, it's silver in color. It's very hated, very hated, heated. No, weighted, <laughs> heavy. <laughs> it's very heavy. It's very heavy. So, you know, if you're going to carry, I used to carry uh, a piece of hematite around in my pocket, in my jeans pocket, when I was selling insurance door to door independently, when I was selling insurance, I used to carry around all the time with me. Um, and I, the days that I may have forgotten, trust and believe it, the, those were not as great days as the days when I had it with me, either my jeans pocket, or sometimes I'd have it in my tote bag with me, but I carried it with me so that that energy of abundance of flow of being able to bring things from the ethers and down into the earth. It was prevalent everywhere that I went. Uh, what is another? Go oh, you know what? Black tourmaline, for sure. That just, it man, it just sucks out all of the negative energies that are around um, and really helps you ground. You'll have to be careful with black tourmaline, though, because it is a very fragile stone. 
And so if you don't cleanse it, which we'll chat just a little bit about in a second, but if you don't cleanse these stones, oh my gosh, guys, then it, that, that one especially will begin to fracture. That'll be in a splinter off um, because it does get kind of heavy, you know, with negative energy. Obsidian is another good one for taking away negative energy, for pushing it away, whatever you want to say. Um, that's another amazing one as well. And those are very common for you to find. Obsidian and tourmaline, so super common. Um, definitely. And I would say, what's another one of my absolute favorites? Um, Jade as well. Jade and Amazonite. Both of those are just wonderful stones to be able to manifest with as well. Okay. Um, oh, and red carnelian. And the reason why I like red carnelian is because it really protects your creativity, helps you with mental clarity, energetic clarity. But that, that red, the red carnelian really nourishes your root chakra, nourishes your, your sacral chakra as well. And it's just an all around great stone to really make sure that your feet are planted on solid ground. Now, um, before I go, I want to talk to you a little bit about cleaning and all that kind of stuff. Most of these you can clean under like a full moon. Your tourmaline and your obsidian, how I do it, I do put them in sunlight to clean them, right? So the sunlight takes all of the darkness out. Um, but all the other ones you can pretty much, if you want to set them outside or in the windowsill under a full moon, that's great. Uh, even if it's cloudy, as long as it's a full moon, as long as it's not a full moon, that's like a lunar eclipse. Um, you don't want to do that. You don't want to clean your stones in that moonlight underneath the new moon either. That's not going to, no. Um, you could charge them in sun, but you can clean and charge under moonlight as well. That's fine. But the obsidian and the tourmaline for sure, sunlight. Uh, also though, if you would like to um, clean without having to put them outside. If that's not like a, you're not able to do that, um, get some good old sage, honey, get some sage, sage your, sage your, um, your crystals, um, set the intention that you're clearing them, cleansing them and recharging them. Uh, it doesn't have to be as, you know, in depth as anything else. And then you set your intention and your being that you are charging that crystal. And then below, you have the power to do that too, you know. So that's how we can maintain them. So those are the crystals I would recommend. What are some crystals that you would recommend that we use? What are some of your favorite crystals that you like to keep around? They either bring you luck, bring you joy, bring you peace, bring you happiness, whatever it is. I can't wait to hear from you. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all the, you know, things, the social media things. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys so much. Namaste. And never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person.